<coughs> G'day. A lot of people think jujitsu is about strength, but us natural guys, we have to rely on technique. And that technique is what I'm going to bring to you today. Obviously, you've already bought the instructional, so we're going to be covering the front head and the path to the back. From the front head and back, I'm going to go over some very similar concepts. And those concepts would be the overarching idea that the higher your opponent is off the ground, the harder they are to control and also the harder they are to submit. The other thing I really want to cover is the difference between wrestling and BJJ. And I will be teaching some wrestling techniques. And you might be thinking, why the fuck is Craig Jones teaching me wrestling? And you'd be right. But what I want to show is how those sports are two different sports. And what you can do in wrestling, you can't necessarily do in BJJ. And obviously what you can do in BJJ is generally illegal in the sport of wrestling. So wrestlers are very good front headlock go-behinds and they're good at defending from front head, but they don't have to worry about the threat of submission. And we are going to use the threat of submission to distract their hands so that we can progress and take positions we wouldn't ordinarily be able to get on good wrestlers. From the rear body lock, from once we've hit a go-behind, we've gotten behind our training partner opponent, we're going to show jujitsu specific mat returns and obviously jujitsu specific back takes because wrestlers have short matches. Those guys can pick each other up and slam each other knowing that the round is short. They're going to have time to break before they go again. And if they do go again in other matches, they obviously have time in between. A jujitsu match could be 30 to 40 minutes. And if you think you could pick someone up and keep slamming them for 30 to 40 minutes, you are either insane or you're Nicky Rudd. So today and throughout this instructional, we're going to be heavily focusing on the difference between jiu-jitsu and wrestling and the similarities and what techniques we can steal from wrestling and implement into jiu-jitsu. In jiu-jitsu, there are two bottom positions. A lot of people think that there is one bottom position and that one bottom position is guard. But we also have turtle. Turtle is a bottom position too. And when we approach turtle from a front head, just like from the guard, we have to beat the legs. From the head, we have to beat the arms. If I recklessly try to get from a front head to Placido's back, he can secure a leg and reverse me and put me down. Just like from guard, if I recklessly try to pass Placido's legs, we can get submitted and we can also get reversed. If I throw these legs out of the way, leave some space, he can reverse me. So from the front head, we can use the threat of submissions to set up go lines. Placido, while on his elbows, has the ability to hand fight. He can fight my hands, but of course, if he's hand fighting me, he is not underhooking me. So he cannot actually defend the go behind while at the same time defending strangles. So that is really what we're going to be covering heavily. We're also, again, with the overarching concept of layers of control based on the height of my opponent through both front headlock and rear body lock, I'm going to demonstrate how Placido has less options from turtle than he does from four point, and of course, than he does from standing front head. We're going to talk about how. Getting them down and keeping them down is the trick to control. From the rear body block, we're going to talk about how having an opponent on the hip is the best form of rear body block. Total would be next. Four point comes after that. And standing comes next. Again, the higher they get off the ground, the more uh, difficult they are going to be to attack, more likely they are to be counter or escape. And those are going to be the overarching themes of this instructional, how we can translate wrestling and jiu-jitsu and borrow from each and how that's going to impact the modern jiu-jitsu game and where the sport is heading with obviously ADCC and submission grappling. <laughs>